there is a better way to deploy SD1 on premise. It is the UCPE, Universal Customer Premise Equipment. Hi, I'm Carl Mörner. I'm the VP of Product Management at Enia, working with Enterprise Products. I'm here to share some uh, experience that we've seen with partners uh, in the area of SD1 and deployment uh, on UCP. Uh, SD1 has been an important change in one networking uh, over the past years, uh, enabling better security and also reducing overall price for enterprises. The first generation SD1 is based on physical appliance. Uh, the physical appliance comes from a single vendor and it's a combination of hardware and software providing a specific function, SD1 in this case. That's, it. That's good, it's an easy deployment, but it has its limitations. Uh, since it is coming from a single vendor and it is a monolithic system, it's very hard for the operator to innovate and create new services based on the SD1 deployment. We have seen from multiple managed service providers that there is a concern uh, that the services cannot be customized enough to meet the enterprise needs. What is needed is the ability to pick and choose different technologies to satisfy different enterprise specific needs. Uh, the way to do this is to use a, uh, a virtualization platform that is disconnected from the appliances, allowing the operator to change vendor of SD1, vendor of firewalling, vendor of appliances, depending on what the customer needs. It is very hard for a first generation SD1 uh, deployment to satisfy this need, based on the fact that it is a monolithic solution coming from a single vendor. We have learned that service providers want to avoid vendor lock-in situations for their services. Basically, using a single vendor to provide the service means that the, you are dependent on that vendor's specific roadmap uh, for innovation and to satisfy the customer needs. These are reasons why uh, the second generation SD1 is picking up in adoption. Basically, you can avoid these limitations. Second generation SD1 is based on white box hardware using a virtualization platform to enable multiple vendors to provide services this allows the operator to create a lock-in free environment from a vendor perspective, which can be adapted to different customer needs or different market needs. Mm -hmm.